What's up, Magic Ma? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a really cute, really easy DIY. This is going to be a stove top cover for cut to 21 inches in length. So going to the store, you're only going to need to purchase three boards and then those three boards were cut into these six pieces that you see here. If I'm not mistaken, the wood for this project was around about $12. So not bad at all. All right, so the measurements that I just gave you, the 29 inches in width. So that is if you want your stove top cover to look like this, which is laying completely across the top of the stove. So what I'm showing you here is you can choose to measure your boards shorter if you like. I know if you have a groove around your stove like I do, I know some of you may want it to fit within the groove. I didn't really like that look because I could not make the edges of my boards around it to fit in there perfectly like I wanted it to. So cutting it at 29 inches, it fit right on top and it was completely seamless and I like this look a lot. So that is the measurement that I chose to go with, 29 inches in width. So the first thing that you're gonna do, you're gonna take your two smaller boards and you are going to lay them vertically, straight up and down. And then you are going to take your 29 inch boards, your wider boards, and then you're gonna lay those horizontally right across uh, those other two smaller boards. All right, so you're just gonna get the edges of your wood lined up and then we are going to get ready to attach the boards. So what I use to attach the boards are these uh, wood screws and these are flat Phillips heads. So basically the reason I use these is because when you drill them in, it will sink into the board. So the top of it will not be sticking out. So you're just gonna get your screw and then in each board, you're going to um, place a screw at the end of each board on both sides. So basically, at minimum, you should have eight screws if you're like me and you want it to make sure that your project is completely uh, secure. I did two in some of the boards, um, especially the ones in the middle. Um, I did two, so I believe all in all, I used... Uh, I think I use two four. I want to say I use 12. Yeah, I think I ended up using um, 12 screws just to secure it together. And here I'm just showing you how it sinks right down into the wood and you can just rub your finger right across and you're not gonna feel it. So you do not have to worry about it scratching up your stove. So now just flip it over and there you have it. So you got your four boards going across and your two boards coming down the side, um, which are going to be our handles later on. I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do with that. The finish that I chose is this um, mini, mini wax wood finish and i got the color classic gray um, i chose this color because it matched my countertops so that is the color that i chose you can do this in any stain that you like this stain comes in all different shades even some actual colors um, but this is the one that i went with so of course you want to do this outside because this stain does smell very strongly and just get you some gloves, some rags that you don't care about, old t-shirts, whatever, whatever. And then you're just gonna take your stain and just wipe it on the board. Staining is very easy, y'all. It is no technique to it. You don't have to do it a certain way, especially when you're dealing with raw wood. It is The, the wood is just gonna soak the stain up. So you just wanna make sure that you cover. Now, it is up to you how dark or how light you want um, your project. So if you want it um, darker, then you just put more coats of stain. If you want it lighter, then maybe only do one coat. I did about um, two coats on here to get the color and the tone that I liked. All 
and this is what it looks like yes I did the front and the back because we want our projects to look professional and then I'm just gonna let that sit outside and dry this actually dries really quickly y'all so I only let it sit outside for probably about an hour and then I was ready to move on to the next step so this was the fun part for me I wanted to put um, the initial of our last name on this board what you see me using, this is a piece of chalk. The reason I'm using chalk is because chalk is a great way to um, draw your photo first or your picture first, whatever you want your board to say. Um, and then we'll do paint on top of that. So chalk wipes off very easily. So if you make a mistake, all you have to do is wipe it with a damp rag and then go back over it with a dry rag and then you're able to begin uh, using the chalk again so I'm just trying to figure out what I want my end to look like and once I get that down then um, we'll start painting so in this part I'm just showing you guys how easily um, it comes off and why I'm kind of using chalk as a guide first before I go in with the paint so you can wipe it off with your fingers um, but the easiest way was using a damp rag like you see me doing here and then going behind it with a dry rag and now you're just ready to make your outline again all right so this is the design the design that i chose to go with um this is our again our initial and the date that we were married um what i'm doing now is painting and i'm just showing you the paint that i'm using i actually purchased that paint from the dollar store for one dollar and it is um kids washable paint it does not wash off the wood but of course it will wash off a of fabric um but it's very vibrant and it looks great um so i decided to go with that one i will tell y'all um i found this other acrylic paint at the dollar store and i tried to use that but it was not as vibrant it actually it almost had like no pigment to it so i'm glad i found this i'm glad i purchased both of them um, I went right back on top of it with this paint and it worked really well. It looked really good. Um, and I want to say I ended up doing two coats of this just to really make sure that the white would pop. All right, so now I'm done painting. So I found this, um, I've used polycrylic plenty of times. I normally use the one um, inside the jar, the liquid, but I found this spray and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so much easier. So we're just gonna go with it. Um, so I sprayed this with about two coats of the polycrylic. Um, I got it in a satin finish. I didn't want it really, really shiny, but I didn't want it matte either. Uh, so I went with a satin finish and did two coats. And then because I am impatient, I took it inside and took uh, my blow dryer to it just to speed along the drying process. And doing that polycrylic on top, um, it will also protect the design that you uh, draw as well. So it'll prevent it from scratching um, or peeling or scraping. All right, so last thing that I'm gonna do, I picked up these handles from Lowe's. These were like a dollar a piece. And we're just gonna attach these handles right to the side. So when we're lifting it um, on and off of our stove top, it is easy to do so and it looks cute. And then this is the finished product. I love it, it's so cute. Oh my goodness, it's so cute, I love it. So I really like how this turned out. I hope you guys like it. Um, if you give it a try, let me know. Leave a message in the comment section below. If there are any other DIYs you would like to see, please let me know. I really enjoy doing this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Enjoy your stove toppers.